Let's take a look at question number five here. So this one says to show that f of x, given this piecewise function here, is continuous but not differentiable at x equals one. Okay, now for continuity, we want to remember a few things. Okay, we know that a function is continuous if it meets three criteria. One, f of a has to exist. Number two, the limit as x approaches a of f of x must also exist. And those two values, f of a and the limit of as x approaches a of f of x, those values must be equal. Okay, we also know a function is differentiable if the three criteria, these three criteria are met, which is that the derivative at a exists, two, that the limit as x approaches a of the derivative of our function um, exists, and also that those two values are equal to one another here. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem here. Okay, let's show at x equals one that this is continuous. So this is like our a value here, basically saying a is equal to one. All right, well, let's figure out what f of one would be equal to. Now, since x is one is included in x being less than or equal to one, uh, we're gonna put that into our top equation here. So we would do one squared plus two, one plus two, which is just three there. Okay, so it exists. Next, we need to show that the limit as x approaches one of our function exists. Now remember, a function will only, or I'm sorry, a limit will only exist if the left-hand limit is equal to the right-hand limit. So we have to show that the limit as x approaches one from the left of f of x equals the limit as x approaches one from the right here. Well, we know from the left when numbers are less than or equal to one that our limit here was equal to one squared plus two, which we just did, which is three. If we're doing the right-hand limit, that means for values of x greater than one. So we're gonna take one and we're gonna substitute it in to the second equation there. So that one says do three times one, and we could see that three does equal three, so this limit exists, and we know the limit is three. So the limit as x approaches one of f of x then is equal to three. So since three is equal to three, it meets the third criteria here. So now we know that our function is continuous. Now we need to show that it's not differentiable. Okay, well in order to do the differentiable part, we need to take the derivative of our function here. So let's take the derivative of this function. So the derivative of x squared plus two x, we're gonna use the power rule for that. The derivative of that just becomes two x, and that's when x is less than or equal to one. And derivative of 3x is just 3 when x is greater than 1. Okay, so let's start with that first one here. Show that f of a, um, I'm sorry, f prime of a exists. So if we did our derivative at 1, again, we're going to use this top equation because 1 is less than or equal to 1, uh, which is going to be 2 times 1, which is 2 here. Next, we need to show that the limit exists. Well, the left-hand limit we know is two, we just figured that out. So the limit as x approaches one of our derivative, I'm sorry, one from the left of our function here is equal to two. But the limit as x approaches one from the right of this derivative function is going to be just three. 
So two does not equal three. So the limit as x approaches one of our derivative here does not exist. And since that does not exist, it fails to meet this criteria here, which means our function is not differentiable at x equals one. And there you go.